Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the Cricut Design Space offline. So I thought we could check it out together. I've already opened it once and then kind of got the point. So I went ahead and just exited out and now we're ready to go. All right, so what I did was I came down. I'm going to show you guys really quick. Let me drop this down. I came down on my Mac to the little rocket ship, came to my applications and Cricut Design Space right here. Double click on that and it's gonna open just like this, okay? So as of right now, I'm still online, so you don't see where it says offline or anything because my Wi-Fi right here is still on. So this is gonna be for, you could do this on your phone, iPad, any of that stuff, but this is gonna be for somebody that's out camping, um, maybe at the doctor's office, you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have service on your phone, um, something like that where you're, or if you don't have internet at your house, just somebody that doesn't have internet. Or it's for somebody like a business. So say, for example, hey, I'm a business owner and I've been working on t-shirts and they are due tomorrow, okay? Or they're due today. I've been working on them last minute. I've been trying to really push them out and all of a sudden I lose internet. Well, as long as I have saved these to my computer, which I'll show you in just a second, you're gonna continue to be able to work on these because that's really hard whenever your internet fails or there's issues with, say, Cricut Design Space Online or any of that stuff, um, and you can't continue to cut out what you're working on. So, as long as you have saved your file to your computer, then um, you're good to go. And you definitely want to do that if you're working on a project that is um, time sensitive, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in and see how this is going to look, how it's going to work. All right, we've opened up the app. This is the first page you would come to, just like this. So let's go ahead and click on New Project. So if I just barely downloaded this, this is how it's going to look. Okay, so far everything's still online, so everything is here. But let's turn off our internet. So say we've lost power and we have no internet left. And you guys may hear my dogs barking in the background, and I apologize. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn off Wi-Fi. This is what happens. You notice that templates has disappeared and upload has disappeared. So it says, hmm, looks like your connection was lost, but keep working, only certain features and content will be unavailable. So this is how it looks when you first download it and you haven't saved any projects to your computer, okay? So you we're on the new, you could come to projects and I have nothing here because I haven't saved anything here. So there's nothing else to choose from. Um, images, it's only going to give you the basic shapes. So we've got basic shapes to work with and, um, and then your text. What do we have? We have all, of, it looks like we've got our basic text. So we've got a little bit here. Um, so let's see, it just looks like we've pretty much got, we've got quite a bit of text, obviously not all of it. It doesn't look like any of the um, access. It looks like we've got all systems. So all of this is our system, what is on our computer. So anything that you have from default or any of that stuff is going to be here, okay? So, and then you have obviously your basic shapes, which is in the images. Now, let me show you how do you bring stuff over here? How do you bring images? How do you bring your projects? So let's go ahead and check that out now. So let's go ahead and turn that internet back on. All right, now that we're back online, let's go ahead and save these images. So everything's back. You can see templates is back and upload. So those are two features that we're not gonna have offline. So let's go ahead and go to projects. Let's say, for example, let's go to my projects first, okay? And this is how we're going to save them. So say this is one I've been working on. I'm going to come to my three little dots here and see where it says save for offline. Click that. And once it's officially saved for offline, it's going to say saved successfully. And then you're going to see a check mark. So no check mark, check mark. So you know that it's saved for offline if it has the check mark and you can highlight and it says that, right? So if you do that, let's go ahead and Go right back offline. Turn off our Wi-Fi. We've lost internet. We still have our project. So it says new. You can now save projects offline to design space. So here's our project. Now notice this. So now that we have our project, anything that's in your project, you can come to images and those images come in. The only way the images come in is if you have them saved in a project, which I'm going to show you like a little hack on that if you want to bring in some other ones, okay? So 
so far we have one project all i have to do is click on it and hit customize okay so if i want to cut this out i'm ready to go i can hit make it i'm completely offline you can see it's you can see it says offline we're ready to go you just keep on going like normal so it's really cool really exciting so far so let's go back online looks like we're back online you can tell because templates and uploads have came back so let's come to images so i can show you so with the images you can't just come over here and click anything to get them to download it has to be through a project so let's go to new and then we'd have images and say i want to save some of these images let's just say christmas stuff okay so let's say let me go to christmas and I want to make sure I have a few of my favorites, you know, so say I click on this one, this one, I'm just randomly clicking on a few, okay? Um, and you don't have to be the same thing, it could be whatever it is. So you just click on a few of these and say, like I said, I just want to be able to have them because they're my favorite. So I click on a few images here and then you can click on as many as you want. We're going to hit insert. Here they all are. I'm not going to mess with sizes or anything. I just want to save them. I'm going to save them as mixed. So that way I know, you know, if my, or I could put images if I wanted to. Just images. This is just something, and I can always save those images here. So what we're going to say is cloud and computer or cloud only. Cloud and computer is automatically saves to your, saves a copy of your projects for offline use. Or you can choose cloud only. We will require internet connection access. So if you do cloud and computer, it's going to save both to the cloud and both into the computer. Now, if you don't have the computer space, don't choose this every time. Make sure you choose cloud only and only choose the ones that you want to your computer because it is going to take up computer space. I don't know how much at this point, um, but we'll learn a little bit more in the future as we kind of start to save those. So let's hit apply. That's going to save it to the computer. And I'm pretty sure I spelled images wrong. Okay, so let's go back offline. Now we're offline. Now let's go to images. And you can see all of those are now over here in my images. So I have them. Um, and then I go to projects and there they are. I can bring it in that way or whichever way. Yes, I, I spelled images beyond wrong. Don't, don't judge me. Okay, so um, just like that, you can see now I'm filling up my images and I can continue to fill those over time. All I'm going to do is every time I want to do this is I'm going to click on this one and then hit customize, go to images and continue to save them to the same file. That way I just have the one file and I can keep bringing in those images as I want to. But uh, let's go back online and I'm going to show you one more time. So say I want to save something that's not my project. Let's try that, okay? So say I want to try, let's say I want to save this project right here. So it's not going to let me. Okay, so it's not going to let you save any other projects. It has to be your projects. It's going to have to be your projects. But like I said, the hack is going to be saving the images to your to one file like I did here and bringing them in so that's just what you're gonna have to do so you're not gonna be able to work with any of the other Cricut projects it's gonna have to be your projects so um, once again look at the three dots you can tell that I did this one so say I want to add this one so I have these two here you can see that say I want to add this one this is a video coming very soon save for offline all right you can see my check mark and that's it so you're just going to keep doing those save as many as you want remember to keep in mind your computer space so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one